Lyme's Affordable Care Act exchanges will only offer one coverage option to 31% of United States counties next year. Another 31% may only have two options. Joining me right now is Trump supporter Betsy McCoy. Let's talk a bit, bit about that. Betsy, good to see you. Thank you. Yes, what Obamacare yeah. is in a death spiral. That's what we see happening around the country. Yeah, the big insurers are pulling out. Big time. The, the, the three majors are pulling out. So when you say death Health spiral, what does that mean? I mean, for the well, guy and gal out there who's it's thinking, a flawed I need coverage. plan. The fact is, it tries to force healthy people to pay the same amount for health insurance as chronically ill people. But we know that 5% of the people in the country use 50% of the health care. So this is like trying to feed a Chihuahua and a Great Dane on the same budget. It won't work. The healthy people say, I'm not paying, and that's exactly what's happened. Then the people who sign up for insurance are all sick, right? Yeah. So there isn't enough money there for the insurance companies to cover their costs. And over the last three years, every year, these big insurers have lost together $3 billion. They're profitable with the rest of their business, but they're losing so much money on the Affordable Care Act that they're pulling out of the exchanges. Expensive. What gets me is how expensive it is. So you're talking oh. about... You know, right. what has happened and, in terms of people being insured and, and why these insurance companies are stepping out. When you look at the average family out there, their costs have skyrocketed. Oh, well, let me point out that this year, November 1st, is when open enrollment begins for 2017. Yeah. The average premium, according to the Obama administration, is going to be up 25%. And in some states, 50%. Tennessee, 40%. Wow. Here in New York, the biggest plans are up at least 20%. And for that, you get fewer options for choice of doctor and hospitals than in the past, less coverage of your medications, right? And, and worst of all, deductibles that are through the roof. $7,000 per person in the bronze plan, the cheapest wow. yeah, yeah. plan. Betsy, I'm glad you, you brought no that up. Yeah, 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 it's, 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 um, and Maria brought it up, too. It's more expensive. You get worse coverage. I, I mean, it's just terrible. It's you heard David Pluff say it's yeah. working? What yeah. part of I it don't know is what, working? It's, it's, it's the Affordable not Care Act only he in He said he's but, hope. Right. And you know what? The administration says, well, we'll keep people in these plans. We're going to double or triple the penalty. But here, here's, That's not what you do. You don't hold the gun to their head. Right. You let them buy something well, they yeah, want. That's a good point. But here's, what, what, what's the solution, right? Because we've, we've got the Republicans who are out there and they're talking about repealing and replacing, I've got right? A that, that, that's a it's a, it's a hot it's a hot Trump issue. Donald Trump should announce, I would recommend that he announce that when he becomes president on day one, the penalties for not having insurance are suspended. We can't force people to buy plans, especially in these counties where there's only one choice. What do you do? Tell somebody you have to buy a car and there's only one on the lot? Mm. That's what it's the equivalent of. Well, even Democrats are saying that you need to repeal and replace this. This is what Bernie Sanders said. And, and so this is actually becoming a mainstream issue on the Democratic side, too, even though Hillary Clinton is trying to say that we're going to, going to double down on it. But when you look at the facts, as you've so clearly laid them out, you know, premiums are up. The deductibles are Choices higher than are ever. Minimal. You can't keep your doctor. Right. Competition has been obliterated. Where, like, it, you know, just removing the, the, the mandate that you actually pay for, you know, uh, coverage isn't going to solve these problems on day one. No. So what but does he you do? You know what? The, there are 11 million people in these insurance exchanges. 11 million people out of a nation of 320 million. Mm. We can't let the tail wag the dog. Wow. Almost all the people who got coverage under Obamacare got it through the expansion of Medicaid. There are only 2 million people in these exchanges yeah. who got newly covered. So we should treat the people in the exchanges who are very ill, call it a high-risk pool, mm. subsidize it as a high-risk pool, and then let Americans who are healthy go out and buy what they want. Right, mm. right. Well, look, Donald Trump has said he's going to repeal and replace, uh, but people want more substance. They also want more substance on his economic plan. We've got the jobs report will be released on Friday. Uh, we're expecting 180,000 new jobs to be created, I, and, you, and you said if it's a good number, that's going to lead to a Federal Reserve increase in interest rates. But let's talk about the tax plan because uh, that's one yes. of Donald Trump's big selling points. You just never hear him talking about it. That's right. Well, he hardly gets a chance, I have to say. But here it is. Americans have a choice. On the one hand, racial demagoguery and class warfare, or on the other hand, real economic growth. 4% growth and higher wages. And that's what 
lowering the corporate tax rate, slashing it to 15% will do. You hear Hillary Clinton telling everybody around the country, wagging her finger, we're going to make corporations pay their fair share. Here's, well, they already pay the Clinton, highest rates in the world. Here's Clinton's yeah. tax brackets, okay? We've got it all laid out right here. Now, if you have an ordinary income, this is an ordinary income. This is the federal level, so it doesn't include state and city. If you have an ordinary income of 91000 Dollars to 190,000 dollars. I'm just grabbing one in the middle there. You have an ordinary income tax rate of 28 percent. Add on state tax, another 10 percent, that takes you to 38 percent. Add on the Obamacare tax and the city tax, that takes another 7 percent. Sales tax. Well, well, I'm just talking about income, and and right. um, so now you're at 45 percent. And I want to ask yeah. you something, Maria. You're at 45 you... percent above 91,000. I don't you know how that's a drop. 45 percent of your happiness from government? No. Yeah. It's because they, they listen. And they know what to do. They, they know how to spend your money better than you know how to spend it. So that's the biggest issue. But when we go back to the corporate tax rate, we have to that's look what's going on globally, right? We have one of the highest level of corporate We're taxes. We're not competitive. Um, uh, yeah, We're um, not competitive. amongst the largest 28 developed economies. Yeah. And here's the issue. All the other countries are going down. Yes. They're not going up in rates because they're I trying to bring more. I remember 12.5%. Yeah. You yeah. can hear but the giant sucking sound. As the UK is going, going down. No wonder we saw all those inversions, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not allowed to stay inversions because people, some people don't know what it means. That's when a company is going to acquire a company overseas so that they can take their headquarters overseas. Well, Just saying. But Hillary should listen to the advisors in Washington, nonpartisan. The Federal Reserve of Washington, D.C. issued a report in December. It said raising corporate tax rates, what Hillary wants to do, will mean lower wages. Listen, America, you don't want less take-home pay. You want more. Yeah. Well, that's a big issue that resonates with people. It's really true. Betsy, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Uh, Betsy McCoy there. Coming up.